In this video, we will go over function notation in word problems. So let's begin with example number one. The function m of x equals 60x represents the number of miles m of x you travel for x hours that you drive. How many miles will you drive in five hours? If you traveled 840 miles, how many hours would it take? So you have two questions here. When we go back and we look at this problem, m of x is in function notation. We do need to recall that this is our y. And in the description, it tells you m of x is the number of miles. x is the number of hours. So my input value represents hours in this situation. We are going to answer the first question. How many miles will you drive in five hours? So if they're asking how many miles we're driving and they tell us in five hours, we need to identify what information do we have and what information do we need to find. So if we're looking for the number of miles, that is our Y. So we can identify Y as miles or M of X. So this is our Y and they're telling us in five hours. So five is going to represent X. So basically it's when X is five, what is the Y value? If we were thinking of a graph. So let's go ahead and answer that first question. So because we're given a function notation, let's go ahead and write our function notation. M of X equals 60 X. So what I know in this first question is I don't know the number of miles, that's what I'm going to find, but I do know the value x is five. So I can say m of five equals, and all I'm doing is plugging in that x value into my function, 60 parentheses five. That indicates multiplication. So I'm gonna go ahead and find out what m of five is. So multiply, m of five equals 60 times five is 300. So then I wanna identify what is this representing in this word problem? So you can always use your scientific calculator while you're working these problems out. I'm gonna go ahead and use my app from on my iPad. So if you needed to find out what 60 times five was, there it is, 300. Just to verify with your app or with your calculator. That's the calculator we will be using. So let's go ahead and represent this in a point. Well, if I was representing this in a point, five comma 300 would be a point on this graph where X is my number of hours and Y is my number of miles. But I wanna represent this in words describing the situation. So in five hours, you travel 300 miles. Let's go ahead and answer question number two. On question number two, if you traveled 840 miles, well this time they're giving you the miles. So if they're giving you the miles, you know what Y is. So this is my Y value. Then you're asked, how many hours would it take? Well, that is where you have to understand X is the number of hours. So this time you're gonna work backwards and you're gonna find X. So again, let's go ahead and write our function as they give it to us. M of X equals 60X. And this is where we say, what do we know? What are we given? What do we need to find? Well, I know that Y is 840. That is the same thing as M of X. So I will plug in 840 for M of X, 60 X. We are finding what X is. We don't know how many hours it took. So we need to work backwards and solve this equation. So in order to solve for X, I need to undo multiplication and divide by 60 on both sides. When you divide by 60 on both sides, 
840 divided by 60 will get you 14 equals 60 divided by 60 is my 1x. We just represent that with x. So now I need to go back and think about what does this look like as a coordinate point? Well, if I had it on a graph, I'd have 14 comma 840, where x is my number of hours and y is my miles. Well, in words, that means in 14 hours, you travel 840 miles. And that's how we write our answer when we are given a description. Let's go ahead and look at example number two. In example number two, it says the function h of x equals 2.5x plus 20. And it represents your height in inches, h of x, for x years you've been alive. How many inches tall will you be when you're 12 years old? When you're 70 inches tall, how old will you be? So again, we have those two questions and we need to identify um, in our function notation, what does each piece represent? So in my function notation, I need to identify that h of x is my height. h of x is my height and it's my y. And then x is the number of years. So my first question, how many inches tall will you be when you're 12 years old? Well, they give me years, which is my x value. I need to find how many inches tall, which is h of x. So again, I will set this up as writing my function notation, h of x equals 2.5x plus 20. Now I'm gonna go ahead and identify and plug in what I'm given. If I'm given my x value, I will write h of 12 equals 2.5, and to plug in 12, it is multiplication with 2.5, so I'm multiplying here, and then I'm adding 20. So now I just need to simplify this expression on the right. h of x is just my function notation. I'm not multiplying h and x. So here, h of, x, h of, h of 12 will equal, and again, that's when you can use your calculator, 2.5 times 12. 2.5 times 12, and we're adding 20, 50. So h of x, h of 12, I'm sorry, equals 50. So if I were to write that as a point, that's 12 comma 50, where x is my number of years and y is my height. But I'm gonna write this in words so I understand what this means. At 12 years old, you will be 50 inches. Inches is the height. So here is my answer. Example number two, I mean question number two. When you're 70 inches tall, how old will you be? Well here they're giving me my inches. I know my height is h of x, so I'm given the y value. I need to figure out x, how old. So again, I'm gonna write h of x equals 2.5x plus 20. I look at the question and identify 70 inches tall is represented with h of x. So I'm plugging in 70 for h of x equals 2.5x plus 20. And now I know I need to solve for this problem to figure out what x is. So the first step in solving is subtracting 20 from both sides. So we can isolate the x. So you get 50 equals 2.5x. And then my last step here is to undo the multi uh, multiplication between 2.5 and x. So I'm going to divide by 2.5. Divide by 2.5. So 2.5 divided by 2.5 is 1. 50 divided by 2.5 is 20. So here you can have 20 equals x. Well, let's think about that as a point. As a point, it's 20 comma 70, where x is my height and y is my inches. So at 20 years old, your height is 70 inches. That's how we would describe our answer in words.
Okay, for our last example, we are going to identify the domain of f of x equals 4x plus 1, and we're given 1, 2, 3, and 4 for the domain. The question is, what is the 